For many, event 15 in the 2020 Marble League, sponsored by Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, was circled in red on Marble's calendars. Some dread it, others look forward to the physicality. No matter where you stand, this is Collision. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. Very similar to last year when we saw this event both in the showdown and the main Marble League. The blue dominoes are the ones that are loose that you can careen right through. Green dominoes, they're not going to be able to be knocked down. But you also see others that will release traps on this test run here. Oop, there goes a red marble, which will launch the ball bearing to come across. Nobody hit there. It won't always launch it. It has to be a fairly solid impact with the triggers in order to make it work. But still, they're always going to be back there looming, making you wonder if something's going to be released. The Orangers and Team Galactic will get us started here in the first of six runs. All the different strategies that can be had in this event. You'll see it coming. There comes the planet that comes down if you knock over a certain trigger you see over on the left. This will lead to a 4-4 four four tie. I know there's a lot to explain in this event, but the small little ones, you'll see it triggered on the left side of your screen starts those red streaks of meteors that release the planetary ball and could create a lot of chaos. A W, by the way, a win, D is a draw or a tie, and an L is what you want to avoid. Green Ducks and the Thunderbolts. They spread out pretty wide. Both planetary balls come down. A couple of ball bearings are released as well, and most of the chaos had already happened at that point. You see the Green Ducks in a much tighter formation to try to spear their way through the Thunderbolts. Well, the Green Ducks getting nicked to the side by one of the planets. And thankfully, it ends there. The Green Ducks will pick up the win 4-2. to two. Thunderbolts are gold medalists from back in 2016 in this event. The Rangers and the Green Ducks largely miss each other. And it's the planets that come flying down and knock off one of the Rangers. One of the Green Ducks holds on and then falls off. But most of the Green Ducks were able to stay planted. Both webbed feet on the ground as the O-Rangers just shot like a cannon off to the side and the Green Ducks get a 3-1 win. Team Galactic and the Thunderbolts here in Group A. A little glancing blow sends most of the Thunderbolts to the far side. Oh, a hard hit from the ball bearing. Launches across. That had a lot of force, and look at down below there, teetering on the edge. How did this happen? There goes the red marble that just gets catapulted on. Oh my goodness. And uh, that galactic marble also way down in the bottom, just holding on. Boy, that was a solid impact. Four to three, Thunderbolts get the win. Now the O-Rangers will be next up for the Thunderbolts. They all spread off quite a ways to the side there. Most of the O-Rangers are already off as two big ball bearings come down. We have two that are launched across. And Thunderbolts try to stay and curl on, and they will get this win. I believe three compared to the O-Rangers, one. Upper right, there's that catapult that ends up launching a solid ball bearing. You know, sometimes these are chain reactions. Other times, the actual electron ball gets shot across the table from the side. What about chaos here, and that was a hard hit. But thankfully, bumping up against that green domino means you're not gonna knock it over. Thunderbolts get a 3-1 win. Final match in Group A, Green Ducks and Team Galactic. Neither have ever meddled in this event before. One planet is released, and Team Galactic Already still and safe. A bit of an arrowhead coming from the Green Ducks in their formation. We'll try to walk you through as many as we can tell from the replays. Three to two, Galactic over Green Ducks. How does the group shake out? There you see the results. The Green Ducks and the Thunderbolts will be moving on. The O-Rangers, interestingly, will not. Championship leaders out after their group stage. Oh, everybody spread to the side here as we begin Group B. The Savage Speeders, I believe, will get the win 
Nothing dangerous tripped here. The replay's coming just a little bit quick to see what the formation and the strategy is. Coming down the ramp, but it's a 2-1 win. Bumblebees and the Hornets. Always interesting when these two square up. Spread out wide, a couple of marbles to the top side. Hornets have everybody on, and I believe they're going to get a sweep. A little bit of spread coming from the Hornets. That's somewhat surprising for this event. You like to be in the middle if you can, trying to hit up as squarely as you can and let it come down to brute force. The Hornets, about as well as you can do there, five to three. Savage Speeders and the Bumblebees. Halfway through the group. Ooh, Bumblebees splayed sideways. All five of the Savage Speeders are still on. Two planets released. And somehow, they avoid everything. Savage Speeders did hit a red domino up top, but managed to stay on. It was more of a glancing blow than anything. And it was one of the ball bearings that released the planet from the left that you see coming in. By then, everybody vacated the middle. And uh, I said that was about as well as you could do in a 5-3. No, that's a little bit better. 5-1. Hazers and the Hornets. To the side, a lot of things being tripped now. Chaos coming. Stuff flying all across the board. And where's it gonna settle? The Hazers have done it. I can see three on from here. It was one of those very large ball bearings. Just brushes past. The gaps that already existed up there. Definitely don't want to hit those. At least if you bump into a domino, you may have a chance to stay on the table. But if you just go straight through the gap, not going to happen. Hazers, 3-1, get the win. Hornets and the Savage Speeders. The Hornets, the runners-up in this event in the showdown in 2019. Barracks coming across, aiming for those pair of marbles. Is it going to knock them wayward? No. The Savage Speeders, I think, have done enough. They lose two to the top side immediately. Hornets have lost two to the bottom already, plus one up top. And then there's that final bump. Three to two. Savage Speeders, nine points undefeated in the group. The Bumblebees and the Hazers come down now. Good solid impact. Knocks them backward, most of them but a good majority stay on the board. This is gonna be four, I believe, for the Bumblebees. One gone for the Hazers, two gone for the Hazers, one for the Bumblebees down bottom left, nothing tripped, and yes indeed, a 4-3 win. So there you can see the winners from Group B and those moving on include the Savage Speeders and the Hazers. Speeders still in their quest to whittle down that lead the Rangers have in the Marble League overall championship. It's now down to 20, and we know it's coming down even further. First run of Group C with the Minty Maniacs. Oh, look at this, one of the referees got hit with the starting gate. A 3-2 formation for the Minty Maniacs in the meantime knocks the Raspberry Racers sideways, but was the run aborted altogether? Yes, it was. All right, we're gonna redo it, and this time some trickeration by the Minty Maniacs means that the Raspberry Racers just fly all the way around them. But were it not for the ball bearing, I think the Minty Maniacs would have gotten that win easily. Instead, this late ball bearing that comes on is gonna even the score at two. Oh no, actually, that's the one, that's the ball bearing. So not the little red one. And one of the Raspberry is almost hidden in that bottom left ball bearing, I almost missed him. The uh, little red balls are electrons, by the way, electron balls. Except this time, we actually know where they are. All the way across come the Oceanics. Fresh off of winning a heat in a water event, but they're gonna be bold to the side here. They're doing a good job of hanging on, but just barely. Watch this planet down to the bottom side. It's gonna stay put. The Oceanics will move on. Three of them go all the way straight through the middle and it's dispersing that energy from Balls of Chaos out to the side. Now the Oceanics gets clobbered by a planet. Ball bearing knocks another one. Oh, <laughs> look at bottom center there. That's dangerously close. We get another planet coming in that misses everybody. Oceanics get a 3-1 win. Anti-Maniacs and the Oceanics. 
Down they come, and the Minty Maniacs send three to the far side. They've already lost a couple. Here comes the planet, and a hard impact between two of the Minty Maniacs, but they don't lose either one. I believe this ends up being a draw. Kind of a disheveled entry from the Oceanics. Only have caused them to lose one to the upper left and then one to the upper right. Potential disaster coming from those planets that were launched, but the draw gives them both a point. Raspberry Racers and Balls of Chaos up now. Spread out to the side. Balls of Chaos still have four on, but here come the Electrons and some of the ball bearings. Two more. Oh, one of the ball bearings strikes and removes one of the Balls of Chaos. And I believe they will come out the winners. The silver medalists from this event in the Marble League 2019. We wait for everything to settle. Balls of Chaos loading up the back portion of their lineup. And they still have four on, but this is where it starts to get a little crazy. Because here comes that Electron Ball to launch two ball bearings. Misses on the first, but nails the Balls of Chaos competitor that time. And look at the big gap that's over there in the corner. No dominoes to save you. Still, the Balls of Chaos do get the win. 3-2. to two. They immediately head back up to the starting gate to face off with the Minty Maniacs. Oh, and here comes one of the tripped marbles launching a large ball bearing. It currently sits 3-2 to two Minty Maniacs. Will it stay that way? Yes, it will. This event always perched right on the edge of disaster. Ooh, Minty Maniacs nearly had one saved up top there at the base of that ball bearing launcher. And then there's that final nudge that would have normally tripped something else up there if that had impacted a little bit more solidly. Final in Group C, Oceanics and the Raspberry Racers. Tight bunch for both of them. That sends everybody to the side. There aren't going to be many left on here. An Electron comes shooting across. Two ball bearings. Here comes another one. And it's heading in the direction vaguely of a couple of the remaining competitors. No, it just stalls against the green block. Ooh, and now it sets its sights on the upper right up there. No. The audience holding their breath on that one. A 3-2 formation for the Oceanics. Usually works pretty well for them, but this time not so much. And even before the planet and the ball bearings had been launched, most of the damage had been done. Two to one. Oceanics get the win. They have seven points to the Raspberry Racers. One. The Racers sitting in sixth in the standings overall. They're not moving on. Oceanics and the Minty Maniacs, however, they are. Only four teams can win the Marble League. Minty Maniacs is one of them. Midnight Wisps, as you see here, is another. Along with the Savage Speeders and the Rangers. Hard impacts. A lot happening out there right now. And I think it's going to be a draw. 3-2 and a 4-1 employed by the Cat Size and the Wisps, respectively. And here comes the planet down and nearly shoots one of the wisps off and then the ball bearing tries to complete the job instead a crazy cat's eye meanders on through and that ended up making the difference tie momo and mellow yellow 2019 bronze medalist in mellow yellow they opt for a spear and shoot right on through and they've managed to stay out of trouble decently well but look at this ball bearing on the bottom right is going to sweep one of them off they would have had the win Instead, one point apiece as it's a 2-2 draw. That striped planet goes right in between them. Ball bearings everywhere, and then is the ball bearing just doing its job. Guiding over to the side. Nearly got hung up and safe. Instead, it ends in a draw. The Wisps and Momo up now. And they come in a good line by the Wisps that allowed them to stay fairly safe. But as they're bouncing around, they lose another one. And it will stay a draw, I believe. Another 3-2. Oh, one of the Momos is... It actually left and re-entered the field. So that is not going to count. Once you're off, you're off. Even if you manage to come back on. I like, I like the uh, effort. How sneaky, <laughs> Momo, but... Unfortunately, these uh, referees are quite professional. And they saw that one coming. Mellow Yellow doing a great job here. Four of them on. 
Crazy cat's eyes. We're in the upper part of the standings for a while. They are the best placed team that cannot win the Marble League, but they can still podium. But they need to do a little bit better here. Mellow Yellow gets the win. Midnight Wisps next to take on Mellow Yellow. And four of them on. Electron Ball shoots across. Midnight Wisps still active. And this is going to be a high scoring draw, I believe. Let's watch here. One of the Mellow Yellows goes off the bottom. Wisps have lost one to the upper left. Solid impact down on that lower left, and that seems to be the place to go. And oh, look at that down on the bottom. Wedged between, but still on, even with an electron ball shooting across. Oh no, it is outside the white area. Oh, that was a trick of the camera then. That does not count. Tricky, tricky. That's why I am not a referee. I'm just up in the commentary box. As the crazy cat's eyes have kept four on. Maybe we get an easy win here with nothing flying about. Two-team Momo shoot off to the bottom, followed by Yellow Eye. Everybody else has done a pretty good job of staying on. 4-3. It will stay. So the results of Group D mean that Midnight Wisps and Mellow Yellow are moving on. Mellow Yellow are 16th place team. They don't get 16th here. That dubious distinction goes to the O-Rangers. Now we enter a tournament-style format. Quarterfinals will begin with the Green Ducks and the Minty Maniacs. Maniacs needing to move on to make a charge at winning the Marble League. They've already lost one to the bottom. Oh, one of the ball bearings shoots off one of the Green Ducks, and I believe that'll make the difference. Four to three, and a 1-3-1 one, one that the Ducks went with seemed to be going pretty well until that. Three for the Green Ducks, what could have been four. The Minty Maniacs have done enough to move on. Onto the semis for them. Back in the quarterfinals, the Speeders and Mellow Yellow. Tight formations for both, but the Mellow Yellows have lost two to the bottom, three out the same gap. And the Savage Speeders. Birch one down in the bottom left. Standard 3-2 for them. And that gap paid dividends later on. A lot of marbles just crawling their way through. Next up, Oceanics and the Thunderbolts. Two teams in the bottom part of the standings. Two blue hue marbles. Electron ball shoots across. Ball bearing as well. Here comes another one. Everybody's out of the way. And I believe the Thunderbolts have done it. They keep one spinning in the center. One that bumps safely off the ramp. And that's where it stays. Even with the extra marbles coming on, I'm just missing both of those Thunderbolts by a hair. The Thunderbolts are on to the semifinals. Midnight Wisps and the Hazers. Hazers come on through. Midnight Wisps have lost a couple. One of the planets is deployed. Here comes the other one. And it's going to, oh, miss all of the Hazers. Down in the bottom, but we're not done yet. Oh, ho, ho, ho. splitting them was a ball bearing. Otherwise, that might have cleaned up the Hazers and knocked two more of them off. Instead, they're going to hold on here. One of the ball bearings on the left knocked out one of the Hazers. But watch these bottom two. Big ball bearing? Not going to do it. How about a little ball bearing? Off the ricochet, also not going to do it. So the Hazers survive. Midnight Wisps get fifth. On to the semifinals. Savage Speeders and Minty Maniacs. And look, look, at, look it up at the upper right there. The Savage Speeders opt for an asymmetrical formation. Is it going to work for them? That is a bold move in a semifinal. They've got four hanging on, and I believe it worked. There's nothing in the rulebook that says you can't do that. It's just that most teams don't because they like to be symmetrical as they descend down the course. The speeders, interesting choice. I wonder if we'll see more opt for that same decision. Hazers and the Thunderbolts. They come in now, Hazers have lost a couple. Thunderbolts are staying fairly clean with all five on. Will anything else be tripped to knock them off? I don't believe so. 
That's nearly a clean sweep. Great use of space, even with that impact from one of the planets. The Thunderbolts stamp their authority with a 5-1 win over the Hazers. And so that means we move on to the third place match, the Minty Maniacs and the Hazers. Hazers down in seventh in the overall. Minty Maniacs can still win the Marble League in fourth. What can they do here? Down they come. Minty Maniacs keep four on. They've lost it down to three. Oh, actually, no, they have one still on. They've got four, and the Electron shoots across. We aren't done yet, and I believe the Minty Maniacs have done it. They actually had one hiding down below. I thought they had three on, but they actually had four. And, of course, they nearly had two if that impact would have knocked those bottom left marbles off. But instead, the Minty Maniacs hang on even with a late launch from an Electron Ball. Actually, a failed mechanism up there in the upper left. So the Minty Maniacs are your bronze medalists. But who gets the gold? Savage Speeders going back to a more standard formation with the Thunderbolts. The Thunderbolts have one stalled in the middle, but here come the planets. Four on for the Speeders. And that's how it will remain. Four to three, the Savage Speeders get the gold and continue to chip away at that lead from the O-Rangers. In fact, doing so much because of the O-Rangers' 16th place that the Savage Speeders should take the lead in the Marble League. With one event to go, it's exactly what you mean when you say closing strong. Thunderbolts with the silver, Minty Maniacs with the bronze. And with that win, yet another $5,000 donation will be made in the Savage Speeder's name. It's their third one, in fact. But this one will go to the Weld Food Bank, courtesy of last week tonight. Congratulations to our podium finishers. Thunderbolts needed a great result. Look at the Savage Speeders. They are celebrating with the fans, getting a well-deserved ovation. They have jumped the O-Rangers. And in fact, only the top three now are able to win the Marble League. Minty Maniacs can get the podium, but they cannot win. Reminder, before the final event, we will do the Marble League Showdown. But until then, thank you so much for watching as we get ready to close out a phenomenal 2020 Marble League. Sponsored by Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. And after the closing ceremony, we'll reveal the 2021 hosts. Don't miss it. Subscribe for more.